check it out got a care package my very first official rc car sponsor is in this bag let's see what they sent me ah it's the good stuff all right so it's getting packages so a company called rc all-wheel drive rc awd reached out to me asked if i would like to uh check out their products i agreed you know I, i've always said that everything you see in the channel i pay for so it's an honest review now, let me make it clear just because somebody sends me something doesn't mean i'm not going to give it the same stringent quality because if i put my name on my channel my brand and recommend something it's got to be something i use and i believe in so i'm gonna be you know just as fair even if it's given to me i'm not gonna promote stuff to get free goodies okay uh, but what i like is on their email to me they said that they want to send stuff have me use it test it out and then give them input as to like improvements and things like that and even like suggestions for new products and i like that i like what i hear from them already so this, uh, I have no idea what's in here. Um, ooh, look at that. So we got a swing on for the Lozy Pro Moto. Oh, that's going to be nice. Look at that. <laughs> well, it's exciting, man. Let's see what all we got. So orange. Um, so these are the hubs for the... Promoto. Mm, not a fan of orange. Oh, let me see. So this. Oh, servo saver. Okay. That should be good. I've had a problem with the servo saver on mine, but hmm, orange. I don't know why they even chose orange. None of the bikes are. You had blue, green, and red. This might work on the red, but. Uh -huh. oh, cool. So we got a t shirt. Uh, I think this must be a flag. It's... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, no. That's a flag. Oh man, I might be able to use that and I go flying. It spins with the wind. Heck yeah. Uh, it doesn't spin, but yeah, check it out. Ha, gonna... ah, look at that. Then we got a hat. And let's not. Looks like a flag. Wow. Yeah, so this is something. Ooh. Man, okay. This is pretty cool. All right. Ah, thank you very much, RC All Wheel Drive. I love the swag shirt the hat the little flag here i like that man let's give a little color up here in the bench now like i said guys you know i'm going to give an honest review just because this was provided to me i'm not gonna it's not gonna sway my opinion of of the products so but yeah i'll we'll go ahead and get this put on the promoto and we'll go ahead and do a review video on that uh in the meantime man i got a whole lot of stuff to unbox Boom! Here we go. <laughs> All right. Uh, you might have seen it. I don't. I don't remember. But I bought a fan and a heat sink, and this is for the Typhon. We're gonna go ahead and get that installed. I was gonna do it before I test drove it. I test drove it. I uh, took it out to the track, but I could not get the screws out of the motor mount to even release it. And then this one here, I opened up by mistake. But here's some screws I got on Amazon. This. According to all the specs should work because I'm gonna end up destroying the ones that are in that motor mount For some reason armor just 
their sizes on some of their bolts or whatever. See now like that's a nice tight fit. That's the way it should work. So we'll go ahead and we'll get the typhon up here on the bench. Um, yeah, never mind. Guys, I, you know what? I forgot to mention. I'm starting like a new series. Now, I'm just going to title the videos On the Bench. And what it's going to be is the unboxing and fixing a car. So if you see On the Bench, I already have um, like number one out there. And I didn't really explain in that video. I was just... It was kind of like a last minute thought after I had posted it. That something I wanted to do instead of just coming up with these titles and that for everything and just label it on the bench. Oh, I love when they throw their trash in here. Okay. Whoa. So, one, two, three. so these are for the landing gear on my apprentice. So, cool little 3D printed deal on eBay. So now I know why he throws it in. He throws it in. There's a little cush thing, but it's just kind of messy. But, try to remember what some of this stuff is. Um, the screws. Screw, screw, screw. I just ordered these for... <laughs> I can't remember. Uh, wow. Man, I honestly can't remember. It's something. <laughs> it's, oh my. Wow. How can that even be? How did I forget? I literally like, just ordered those. Oh, wow. It, it'll come to me here in a minute, I think. Maybe. I hope. Wow. Man, guys, I got some exciting news, too. Well... I guess it's not news because nothing's happened yet. Oh, dang it. I meant to open this up at a different time. But this is going on the Lozy Pro Moto 2. Uh, I put a, a battery clip on there and I was having problems with uh, getting the thing to open. So I reached out to Kevin over there, Fine Laser Designs, and mentioned, yeah, right here. The handle, the original one, the handle was way over here. So you didn't, and this is where the bolt goes through. So you, you were trying to open it from here and you didn't have much leverage. So I even recommended putting the piece out here so you had more leverage to pop it open. And you know what? Man, he just sent me a new one. He said, here, try that out. You got to love the person that stands behind their product. So let's see here. Try not to uh, cut any more stuff. so I got this we're gonna be putting this on the 4s infraction or infraction geez man the dog barking over there's got me and it's my dog I gotta go tell him to be quiet <laughs> this is I got this for the 4s Creighton and I think I just no that is no that's my dog okay wow I got a war going on out here. Like, my neighbors, who were the two police officers, cleared their lot. Like, their lot was all treed up, like, where my garage is. They decided to clear it. Now, the guy that lives back there, that same house that gave me problems. If you miss it, you can go back and still got the videos up. But this guy called the cops on me and stuff like that, trying to keep me from clearing my lot. Well, he sold the house. It got sold, and now it got sold again to another real nice person that, uh, has a problem with them clearing it. So now he's got the, the thing blocked with his RV. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. I got an extra servo for the um, my apprentice. I broke one the last flight. So I got another one just to have on hand, just in case. You never know. Oh, okay. I got these. I found out what they're called now. Body post protectors. On the 4S crate and that, they got these dimples in the hood. I go in front of the post but I guess it's to protect the post but to me it seems like it's just enough reinforcement to prevent that bubbling that happens uh, on the arm of stuff whenever you uh, crash it or whatever all right so I know what this is 
This took forever to get here. And now I don't even know how this opens up. This took forever. This was on the extra slow boat from China. I actually thought I kind of got ripped off, but check it out. Man, I gotta, I gotta go empty this garbage. But yeah, I have this, uh, the one airplane, the T720 there. I found a flaw with their design. See what it is, is these two brackets, they go in and lock like that to hold the wings in. And what it is, it's, it's a really good trainer plane. So if you hit the ground, this jostles and the wings come off instead of breaking. That way if you, if you land and you hit something weird, this is supposed to have enough flex to pop the pop. But look, look what happened to my last one. See that piece is missing? And guess when it decided to fall out? Mid-flight. This thing came da, 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 to the ground and the rest of the plane just went Ugh. But hey man, the plane survived somehow. It did really well, the crash landing. So I got some wings, but what I'm gonna do is like uh, one viewer even told me what he did. He glued the wings onto the plane. And I, I, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna go ahead and glue this on here because these things are so hard to get. The OMP hobby here in the US doesn't have them in stock. I had to get these things through their website in China. And man, it just took forever. And I don't like that because I haven't been able to use that plane in forever. Well, I mean, I could have just tried to glue that on, but I don't know, without the extra support there, you know, you're asking a lot of the wing. So, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and slap some glue on here, slide it through there and lock that in. I'll get that little plane working again. Ah, I remembered what I got the screws for. It's for my glider. For some reason, I had a bag just like this because I actually had two gliders. The first one... A ride broke thanks FedEx but uh, so Horizon Hobby sent me another one but uh, I took the, I, oh my god my dog anyhow I uh, I had this bag in my car on the, on the first flight and I can't find it so I was like oh wow so I went ahead and just got a bag of screws <laughs> That okay, that explains that. Let's uh, let's go easy. Let's get the the forest Creighton out here. Let's do that. Oh yeah, I don't think I finished the uh, whole neighbor debacle over there. Um, so yeah, he took his RV and kind of blocked where they cleared, and then and now he's out there just playing music, and I can't even really hear the music, but all I hear is the bass. And unfortunately, in this little tin box, it's just echoing. The guys, just <sighs> so yeah. I've already had this bearing walk out. I've opened this up one time, and the bearing was all the way out here, and it just—it looks to me like it's nipping the motor right there. I mean, it's definitely. Maybe you guys can see that. Oh, look. I mean, look at that. So, I got the high speed support set, I think. Hmm. <laughs> I hope I got the right thing. And the dry shaft in this one is so much harder to get out. Of race here, you gotta kind of move this thing sideways. Now it doesn't want to come out. I dislike removing this brace. <laughs> I really do. So it doesn't ever seem like you can get it in there, back in there, right? right there 
it's eating up. And I mean, look where the, the bearing ends. I mean, it's just too close to the border. So even if we just move it over just a little bit, because it looks like what they had to do was cut this piece off to fit the motor. So this allows the bearing to walk. So we need to fix that. I'm not sure if this thing's gonna work. I'm not sure. Uh, not sure how this is gonna line up. And see, this thing's got these little braces here. I want to. They're hitting there, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to. I think I'm just gonna have to get a different drive shaft. So I don't believe this is gonna work. I don't know. Maybe it will. Man, the old boy's base over there. Jeez, please. Ha, huh, look at that. Now the only problem is that you're gonna have battery strap right here oh look at that the bearings not even very tight right now it ain't gonna work it's not gonna work at all because this is just a little bit thicker no it's not actually look at that it's got oh no that's way worse yeah okay Bearing still feels good, but um, I think the only way this could possibly work is it has to go here. And well, if I cut off these support feet there, that should let me snap that in. But that's not going to work because it's. Yeah, that's the problem they ran into. Uh, that this brace. Well, see, the problem with them, they didn't have to put the brace there. They could have put it in there. So, it looks like really the only option for this vehicle is this. We're just going to have to get a different drive shaft set up. Something like what I have in the uh, Vendetta. So look at that beauty. Let's see, this bearing will fit anywhere along this whole corridor. You know what they did is they thickened it up here where you can't put the bearing support and they thinned it out here kind of opposite of what they did so yeah well, what i see is my sponsor here rco oil drive if they make a dry shaft for this we need to get that coming yeah i'll look it up and research it, but it is a problem with this this vehicle this uh this dry shaft like i said i've already had this bearing walk out found it way up here like that not even in the cradle anymore so, something to be mindful if you have one of these I don't even care about this because you know the problem is it's so close to the motor the o-ring won't stay the o-ring constantly walks its way back because it's rubbing the motor all right so <laughs> we'll save this for another day Look, see, this is what such a I hate messing with this brace. I don't know why it's so hard to get this thing to slide back in. See right here on the hood, it has these. So I was just kind of thinking maybe this just reinforces the hood just enough. Oh, look at that. Man, it doesn't take long. Uh, it doesn't take long to scratch these up. All right, next up, we got the Typhon. But first, huh? What I need is a coffee sponsor. That is what I need. So I'm not looking forward to this because this is uh, I think I already showed you. This is the two and a half. It's just. And even if I take this, it actually fits in there a little bit better. Huh. I wonder. I wonder, wonder, wonder. Hmm. 
got the Oh, look at that. Haha. -ha. Ah, because I think these bits that I got here are, uh, they're a little tight on the daily use of stuff. So you usually kind of get stuck. Ha. Ah. Sweet. <laughs> look at all that Loctite. These screws are not going back in. Ah, nice, look. I don't even have to take the, uh, the motor mount off. Just kind of sucks and now I'm gonna like scratch everything up. Oh no, it's the wrong way. <laughs> oh, go figure. Oh, okay. Oh, that is. So I basically put an Allen wrench in here and bent it to push it in here. You know, get this little clip that kind of. Hold that heat sink in there a little tight. And I hope the forms were right about the size. Uh, size of these screws. That's right. I'm just testing first and then we'll put the Loctite on. Seems to be right. Oh, I meant to check the... Oh, well. Although, looking at all the residue on here, I don't know if... How much we're gonna need? It's probably already a buildup and a half in there. I like to get it to where it's just where it just takes a little bit to move it, not a lot. There we go. So, oh, I know people ask me to do more technical stuff. And I'm dreading this because I know everybody's going to have their own two cents on how something is done. What I like to do is the paper method. Just get the paper in there and then we'll just give it like a little push. That should, the paper should keep it from having too much of a, so I'm going to push and just Give it a little rock so it knocks, you know. Just... Snug that down. And look at that. We should have a nice little mesh there. See? See, this one, is so, it's so hard to see because the ESC is in the way. So this is a really difficult setup to just eyeball. Because you really can't, you can't even see what's going on down there. So you just kind of have to do the old, just kind of. So there we go. Just a little bit of play there. Because you don't want it too tight because then it's going to heat up. You want, you need to be that little air gap. You don't want them smashing into each other, but you don't want it loose because then you're not fully engaging the teeth, right? And if you're like this, you're just going to strip stuff out. So you don't want it too tight to where they're, they're cramming into each other. You want that just to be just enough, that little air gap in there. So nice. There we go. On here, they make it easy. This is all color-coded. Yellow to yellow. This <laughs> peach. I think it's supposed to be orange. You know? Blue to blue. Put it back here into the little holder. What I'm going to do is I'm going to keep this top one loose. I don't need to put this back on. They have this thing Loctite for some reason. Well, I guess because it holds down the center diff and the bearings. So it's probably kind of important. So this is a little, a little tricky to get in and out. It's kind of tight. 
don't forget just a little dab will do you you don't need to go crazy you don't need to go all the way up the threads just a little bit down there in the bottom it'll work its way up if it needs to and also like i always say if you're going to use one of these drills i never or i say almost never use this thing to tighten As a matter of fact fatal mistake right here always get your make double check your clutch setting Now we just finish this off by hand. We, you know, we let the drill do the bulk of the work. You know, if you're screwing into metal, it's fine. You know, still use the clutch, but you, you, I could generally run it to the clutch if I'm going into metal. But if I'm going into plastic, no. Alrighty. So now we have the fan. As far as I know, um, I don't think this calls for any kind of Loctite. I've never seen Loctite on the uh, on any fan I've taken off. So, and now we can connect it to there. This is why I left that one cable up earlier. That way, I'd have. Oh boy, so if we leave that loose then we can get, that'll get caught in the gear. This is where, yeah, I think I still got some of that heat shrink. Alright, that took a minute, I had to go in the big garage there and fish some stuff out. But we got a little heat shrink here and then I'm, I'm going to put one more piece here. Which I know, that's going to, if I ever have to take this apart that's gonna be a headache a little bit but I'd rather do that than I don't know should I wire tie it maybe I should just wire tie it I was kind of thinking like how much am I gonna ever have to really remove that probably not a lot so let's see let's plug this in yeah there we go Alrighty, so yeah, we're gonna put in one wire tie. And uh, if I find I gotta keep digging into this a lot, I'll just wire tie it. Oh, but I'll definitely keep this part. Cause see, the thing is, you know, if you look right here, that, that pinion gear and all, it's right there, it's so close. You really just don't wanna take a chance of that thing getting st stuck up in there. Which, yeah, you could probably wire tie, but I think the heat shrink is just going to hold that a little bit better than a wire tie. Cause now I know it's not going to go anywhere. Ha! Huh, check that out. So we got that done. I don't think there's anything else I need to work on with this. Heck yeah. All right. <laughs> 